The story of Jacob and Laban in the Bible is a great reminder of how to serve or work for a boss who's not very kind. Jacob had worked for his father-in-law for 20 years, and during that time he had experienced all kinds of problems. Laban had tricked him and deceived him and all kinds of different things. But it's interesting, Laban realized what a blessing Jacob was to him. In Genesis chapter 30 and verse 27, it says, And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry. Jacob was ready to leave. For I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. So he could tell that God was with Jacob and Laban's business had been blessed. Jacob was a good ter- caretaker for Laban's cattle. He, he took good care of things. So when Jacob gets ready to leave, he gets with his wives. He, he just wanted one, but he wound up with two out of the deal. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto the flock. And he said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not toward me as before, but the God of my father hath been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served your father. And your father hath deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said thus, the ring straight shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring straight. Thus God hath taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And so Jacob realizes that God is his source. He realizes that God has blessed him. And he also realizes that Laban has changed his wages and tried to cheat him in all kinds of different things. And yet God has taken care of him in the midst of it. He finally says in verse 42, Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had been with me, surely thou hadst sent me away now empty. God hath seen mine affliction and the labor of my hands and rebuked thee yesternight. This is a great lesson for all of us as followers of Christ to learn how to work for somebody who isn't necessarily a very good or nice boss. And sometimes we all have to do that. And so what, what we see Jacob do is, is he is honest, he works hard, and he trusts God. Those are the keys. He realizes that it's not Laban that's going to build wealth for him. It's God who's going to take care of him and provide for what he needs. But even though Laban is cheating him, he doesn't cheat Laban in return. And so in in chapter 6 of the book of Ephesians, it tells us in verse 5, Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, with singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. With good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. So important. He, he tells us there, he says, when you serve a, a human master or you work for a human boss, do your service for Christ and trust God to give you the reward that he wants to give you. It, it's not up to you to try to outmaneuver the boss or to to fix the situation. It's your job to do a good job, to work hard, to be honest and trust God like Jacob did with Laban. I'd just like to encourage you today. You know, there are some fantastic bosses out there and there are some that really are really hard to work for, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of boss you have. What matters is that you do your work for Jesus. Every morning when you get up, you get prayed up, And you go to work and do what it is that you've been called to do to serve Jesus and do it with all of your heart. That's what he wants from us. Because remember, the reward doesn't come from our boss or our master. The reward comes from Jesus. God bless you. Have a great day.